Good morning. My name is Jessica Lynn Mold, and I am the owner of Jessica Lynn Original. Uh, we are a Milwaukee-based clear rubber stamp company. I also make, just so you know, custom rubber stamps. So if you were looking something with your logo or you wanted something custom, I do that art as well. Um, so just know they're professionally made if you do order the custom ones. Um, you might say, what the heck are my clear stamps? Well, these are those. They're all packaged in their beautiful packaging. I draw all of the art for these, um, and you can see they're all professionally packaged up. Okay. So why am I here today? I wanted to just take a few minutes, and I am going to be starting a new category on my website, on the YouTube channel, um, and it's going to be all about um, bullet journaling. Now you might say, what the heck is bullet journaling? Um, it's something I found a couple of months ago. If you go on Pinterest, you can find a whole category all about bullet journaling. So what is it? It is a way for you to be very creative with a journal and not be stuck with a pre-designed planner. I'm a huge fan of it. Um, I have two little girls and for me personally, um, there are times when I'll have a calendar planner that runs, I'm just gonna make this up, but let's say like January through December, right? Like so a full year. And I'll get really, really busy and I'll forget to journal in my planner for a month or two. And then all of a sudden I get crazy about it again and then I come back to it and I, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. I typically find that over the summer, I don't do nearly as much of this as I do in the winter. I'm guessing because, you know, the family gets out, we go places, whatever. So I found this a couple of months ago and what I wanted to do is give you just a quick introduction and then I'm going to be adding this as a new category on my YouTube channel and I'm going to do a different layout every time. So these will be nice, short, quick videos with a how to do that layout. Um, you can use uh, Copic markers. You can use pen and ink like I am. I personally love the Pilot G210. Um, it's what I actually use to draw all of my art. Um, it's got a nice, thick, rich, fluid ink. Um, it comes in different thicknesses, like a size 7, and I think there's a 5 too, which is very, very tiny, thin, if you like that. So you can pick whatever you like. You can pick whatever colors you want, black and white. You can do this in colors. You know, one day you could do it in color, one day you do it in black and white. So what I love about this is that you actually design the pages yourself. Now you don't have to be an artist to be able to do this. Um, for me, um, I am using, I got this off of Amazon, and this is a Milico notebook. I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure. Um, and it comes in a two pack for $12. What I really like is it's got a hard cover and a hard back. So if I throw it in my bag on my way to work or on my way out with the girls, I don't have to worry or on my way to dance class with the girls or on my way to the grocery store with the girls. I don't have to worry about all my pages getting destroyed. Okay. So the first thing I would do is invest in one of these books. Okay, I'm gonna put some links below. So down below, I'm gonna have some links and you can take a look at the ones I'm using right now. Um, the one I chose, it actually has grid marks. So you can see that, see it's got a nice grid. So what I love about that is that I don't have to sit there and try to measure it out with a ruler, blah, 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 whatever. All I have to do is just grab a business card or I can use a ruler, whatever you got, and then just go through and mark them up however you wanna design those, okay? Now for my example here, um, again, I'm using my Pilot G2, I'm using my notebook, I've got this, so very simplistic. So for the very first way to start, what I would encourage, go pick up your products, um, and I'll be really honest, you know, with planners in the past for me, I've never found one that actually really fit my needs. Um, not to mention, I don't want to just put go to the doctor, go to dance class, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I want to journal, you know, sometimes I want to write how proud I am of my daughter in dance class. So my goal with my um, bullet journal is I'm going to start recording as I make each page. And then I'm going to share it with you guys, you know, my thoughts, my ideas, not everything, but I'll put a bunch out there, you know, and I've seen some journals when they get all the way through to the end that you might keep this. And this might be something that your kids go back in many years from now and go, oh, look at mama's working on her dad or whoever. Um, not to mention, I found myself so much more organized 
than ever before because I could never find one that was truly what I was working on and what my brain was thinking at the time. So my suggestion, go get your items and then let's go ahead and start with the first page. So the first page, set up an index. Now you might say, why would I have an index? Every good book has an index. Um, it's going to help you keep organized. And this is huge because the goal of this is to have yourself organized at the end of all this. Now it's going to be to be creative and fun and artsy. Um, and you know what? There's no right or wrong. Maybe this journal only lasts you 30 days. Maybe this journal lasts you. Now this one has 70 pages. So maybe it only lasts me 70 days. Maybe this lasts me two weeks because I journal a whole bunch of stuff I'm working on projects. You know, it's really up to you. You can be as creative or not creative as you want. You know, if you're not artistic um, as far as drawing, like maybe, you, you know, I personally am, I love cards, but I'm still learning from my design team. They're amazing. The cards they make are amazing. Drawing, I can do that. So, you know, you're going to find whatever your niche is. So here's my index. So I just wrote out index. I, I colored it all in. Um, one of the suggestions, now the paper I have, it's kind of thick, but I push hard because I'm left-handed. So I just stick some cardstock behind it um, so that it's just got a little bit more support. And then when I go to the next page, I'll do the same thing. Now with my index, um, what I would really encourage you to do is go in there and log. So if my next page is going to be, let's just say a calendar, I'm going to put calendar and then I'll put the pages. But don't do the indexing until you finish a page. So homework for you first, go ahead and design your index page and only do the header. Make sure you leave yourself lots of room, possibly two columns, depending on how much you end up doing. Um, leave yourself some space because you're going to be documenting all of this. What's going to be great is you're going to say, oh, I was thinking about something the other day and I wrote it down in here. It was about my daughter at dance class. What page? Oh, hey, it's on page six. Now I can go right back to it. Okay. So again, this is not a quick race. This truly is a marathon, okay? Um, don't think that you're going to do all of this in one day. I certainly know that I am not going to be doing all of this in one day. But it's a fun project. You know, while your kids are taking a nap or while they're at school or while you're just chilling out, you know, sit and doodle this while you watch, you know, a TV show. Um, what's cool about it is with the grids, you can see I know exactly. I can make everything super matchy-matchy, okay? Mine looks a little candy land, but I kind of dig it. It's fun. So homework, go purchase your stuff, go and get your pen and then design your index page. Um, I would love to see your index page. So go ahead and down below in the links, link to your blog with your index page. I would love to see it. Okay. Um, I'm going to be putting up my first page that I've actually designed very soon. So be ready for that. I will put them in number order. So if you want to follow along with me, this is number one. Number one, buy your stuff, make your index page. If you have any questions, toss me an email, comment below. I'll write you back. Um, we're going to get more creative as we go. So just remember, index page, just super simple, you know, like two by the size of the page. Just get ready so that we can archive all this in the future. All right. Um, we will talk more about how to use rubber stamps in there. We're going to talk more about coloring. We're going to talk about all kinds of stuff. So thank you for following us. If you're not already following us, I'm going to pop a little Brentwood up. It's going to look just like this guy right here. Go ahead and click on that. Subscribe to our channel. Go ahead and watch some of our older videos. We've got some great stuff, how to make cards, some of our stamp collection, stuff like that. I look forward to seeing your bullet journal, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.